<laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. So, welcome, beautiful presence hearts. Good morning. Good morning to all of you on this wonderful Saturday. As yeah, this this contains you to show show up here, so you'll see that. So, as we promised, Michael and I wanted to come and come on live and give you a recap regarding what showed up in our field this week from the middle of the night Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday and like the way we we met it and the, the challenge that we had and then able to transform the energy and we felt we both felt it's so valuable because we you know I'm the facilitator of this presence meditation and also we are in a couple divine union in addition we also have this individual journey we're taking so the wisdom of it is so valuable that we want to share with you so I'll start with Monday night yeah and, and before we just say it I think it's remarkable that for all those that are watching to recognize it's so very um, powerful to see the the biggest vulnerabilities the areas that are, are soft and tender spots the vulnerabilities that really that have played a big um, powerful energetic pull in our life or sensitivity has been arising in these 30 days 60 days 90 days so it's amazing that we can come together and share that because um we just keep coming back to the same phrase what is coming up is here to be released yeah so and i feel again that's why i have a lot of value for um us sharing because we really help one another so monday night middle of the night we had a an experience of one of the somebody with very 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 loud rattling car came in our neighborhood and began to um ramble its card in the most loudest way in, in very aggressive i mean so loud that i had to finally take a little short video of it and what was interesting is a sound like that michael knows it typically would really really baffle me and bother me and um it did wake me up i was i noticed i noticed my body wasn't shaken thank god because of the presence yet however it was slightly disturbed i was aware of that and um and i just began speaking to my presence because it kept going around the neighborhood it really woke the whole neighborhood up and and i came so i was a young man with a red shirt and so when i closed my eyes i said okay let me offer less resisting resistant thoughts because i also saw I was very uh, aware of the rage over here and anger both sitting there that was also inside of me but yet I just decided to choose less resistant thoughts like oh it's a young man you know he probably is excited he has this loud car and he kind of wants to show it off maybe in front of others he's not aware to all these other people versus mother I didn't do it out of that. So that was a big plus. Yet it had it had still a little bit of a disturbance. So so woke up in the morning and after I did the we did this is Tuesday morning, did the meditation. My youngest son out of nowhere was very irritated. He was he was irritated at the sound of that car and then his new pet that's here, the bird something you know he he had asked me to make this playground thing with the bird which i did and then as i came adjusted everything he he got so angry and he really just just yelled at me just yelled and i was like i, I was like never mind. i i don't know where this is coming from but this is too much of a reaction the way you're you know i'm here helping you so I, I took a 
pause and I breath and I stepped out of the room and then he came and apologized and I shared with him I said never I won't accept that behavior like you're talk to me but this level the way you acted this has something to do with you in the past that you just totally projected upon me so he's like mommy I'm sorry I said talk to me you know so he apologized and talked to me but it was very nasty the way he came and projected so right after that my brother called and um, my brother wanted to know what happened with this and this this has to do with my car and this has to do with the something to do with my car and uh, between the cars the car that I'm selling and the new car that I bought and so um, I had to take care of oh and it before that I came to go buy groceries my car had a client that day I came out I saw my car my new car the tire was going flat so I told Michael can you come help me out and uh, he said he will but something had taken place before that early in the morning i'll go ahead and just make up the second one early oh. in the morning when um honey i went for a walk i had a i had a huge huge deep release in the morning i i went into a past relationship actually the one before honey and really discovered a lot of shame that was in the, meditation. In the meditation you just should say that right. in the meditation in, 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 that showed in, up in the meditation morning. that showed up there was a lot of shame and guilt and a lot of pain and anger of what was being showed to me. And I felt that it was amazing because as it came up, I really felt it hit me in a way that as that tears, sadness, and just a, a deep processing that I never had a chance that was from literally 10 years ago yeah. that um, the situation happened, which I was very grateful for because What's amazing is, you know, no matter how many of our suppressed memories, pains that we think we've healed or we've suppressed them with these meditations and this power of meeting the great presence, it's allowing that to come up to be healed. Fast forward afterwards, we went on a walk. I shared it with Honey and Honey was very great in holding space because I, I cried deeper. I allowed that. We came back from the walk. We went for a good hour walk. Yeah. So my court as Michael just got to fully express everything that I hadn't really fully heard mm -hmm. ever in this, yeah. in, in the time we've been together, right. what took place. Yeah. And I was, I was noticing a bunch of things and clarity yeah. was coming to me finally. And so it was beautiful because in one aspect, it was coming all up. And in another aspect, I wasn't quite ready to jump to another vulnerable sensitive moment i was still processing it so as honey was making the connections and parallels she was pointing that to some of the um misalignments within our own union and for me to hear that at that moment was almost like a it was a huge it's trigger true. on top of that because i was still moving through the initial trauma and then to bring another traumatic moment that we experienced together and connect them i just wasn't ready and that triggered me yet i paused yeah. I breathed and I allowed myself just to go inward so that I would not project my um, all the pain that was coming forward and it was amazing to watch I saw Michael experience the trigger and I saw him I really saw him pause and take charge which was so so beautiful to just witness that and when we came back in um then I said okay so I said Michael I'm not gonna say anything more I'm gonna go take care of groceries and what have you so I wanted him to have his own space because a lot had come up and I had felt so relieved I was finally able to understand certain things that I had struggled to understand in our relationship and finally here was this puzzle that was like being solved finally so Anyway, but I, I recognized he wasn't ready yet because this had first come up. And I and, and for me not to jump it, I had taken one step and I saw it not quite ready and there was a trick. So we managed that very well between both of us. So then when I went out, I saw my car, uh, my car, this tire thing had come out. So Michael came out generously. He came help me. We had to go take care of the car, getting it, uh, you know, with the tire, with the, with the, mechanic and all of this in the meantime while he got fixed Michael went back home he had to get ready for his client and I left so my brother got on the phone with me 
and my brother was in a really bad mood so my brother just started yelling at me and I and I and I just felt those tears coming and I was like okay here's my son this and I had a beautiful meditation an incredible meditation on Tuesday with the presence so here was and I could tell the Sanjay with my core but he did great and then here's my brother so I had to like take some breath and I said listen you have to just hear me let me explain to you so once I explained to him then he felt really bad he's like I'm so sorry I yelled at you da, da, da. I didn't know da, da, da. so and and this is something that I'd experienced numerous times whether it was my brother whether it was my former spouse whether it was really my father like just they would go out of they would be frustrated over something and then they would just yell and scream and take it out and it was so projected and and how much it's it has scarred me in this lifetime and um and it's been a challenge that I've also had with Michael so so having having said that then my brother apologized he was calm so it was it was all good then then I came back, I went by groceries, came back, everything turned around. I was able to talk to my other friend. Something amazing took place. And Michael said, I have a call. So he went took care of that. So so in this we were in this wonderful place. We came back quickly to make lunch because then we had to have a Michael had a session. So he he had some amazing things to share with him, good news, and he said he had something amazing. So when it came to quick lunch before an hour before Michael's client come in um, when Michael came to sh to share um, I could tell there was something off just something as, as he should something something was just off and, I, and there was this good news he wants to share and usually he shares it but there's something wacky with it so what he's telling me and because I'm a seer I can see and I can see the stumbling I didn't know what I was and I was just scrambling what was happening and uh, and then at some point it became more clear and then he wanted me to celebrate like his good news but I, I couldn't because I was more like well why why wouldn't you just express that what was this held energy on that so what what happened then Michael got upset so then Michael gave into the trigger and he got upset so he started yelling and getting very upset so he in the morning he had done so well in the afternoon then it didn't so on this end of course he was upset he he's doing that and at that point earlier for me because of my son and then my brother and then Michael like that that was just that really that, that just really affected me so but I still Michael then the client came Michael saw the client I came laid down and I said okay all right we, we really got to have the heart to heart to this like really because I, I was like this just can't go on I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna have this conversation so after Michael had the client session he, he had an amazing an incredible client session I took my time I rested and I sat in an hour and a half meditation and in my meditation I just really went back to this place as a child when I was very little my dad would just yell and scream and wanting to blame and he just couldn't control himself and I was you know fortunately I wasn't as physically abused as my brother was where he would just hit with anything he had and you know, it's it, for those of us who've been abused, not just emo emotionally, not just mentally, not just emotionally, but physically. I mean, there's a lot of scar that we're moving through. And I was just like, I, I'm just tired of being yelled at. Like, I don't deserve it, especially when I hadn't done anything. If anything, I'd just come and give it, you know, a helping hand. And also, have this has been part of my journey coming in this incarnation meaning this harsh energy of this masculine that just takes it out on the woman and just bring the, bringing that awareness or on a child or a woman so anyway so after Michael Michael um, before when I sat here I was like okay like I was like this anger this this being yelled that I'm gonna accept in my body I'm gonna let you be here and I had to go deeper in that being physically hit and being 
all kind of things. I have to really sit with that. And I have Physically to, by my dad. dad. Not, not by me. No, 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 not Michael. But my this is, I've been back to yeah. my childhood. And then also the amount of time my brother, how harsh she was. And then my former spouse. And I was just like, and just, and I let myself really shed tears. Just tears and tears of that. So I said, okay, I want to meet with Michael and just talk this hard to her. So after Michael finished his session. Yes, 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 I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. And so when I, after the session, there was this immediate um, old pattern within me that I saw come up that was like, okay, something really big happened. I wanted to create even more space for myself. I was even imagining like I would like take some time, go for a walk, and just take some really extra space to process what happened because I already was aware in the morning of so much energy arising from the first traumatic um, experience from an old relationship and then obviously at lunch when we spoke another element came up where I got very upset I lost control of my anger I expressed some just you know I, I raised my voice and um, you know I I yelled in, in a way that I could see myself these past couple of months of this this um, this ten I want to say temper tantrum but this excessive level of anger would come out which would even surprise me so after the session I was even saying, you know, I know, you know, either we're going to talk, something's going to happen, but I almost wanted to avoid it because there was a part of me that just didn't want to deal with it at that moment. And so I recognized that within myself and even just took a little grounding time just to get myself together because it was such a powerful session, but still felt all of the energies moving in that morning. So I came, made, lit up candle and I put seed and a black tea and I was like, let's have a heart to heart. And I knew it was hard for him. But he came, and I just really opened my heart, and I, and I really expressed that, you know, I wanted to go through step by step. We spent a good two, three hours, in, you know, good two hours in there. I said, Michael, this really hurts me when, you know, suddenly you give your energy to this part, but you don't, you're not really hearing me. And I, I said, you know, why I couldn't celebrate because you were holding your energy back and you knew you were holding and I didn't understand why you would hold things from me, like what was going on. So I was able to go really gently, heart to heart and give him the opportunity to, to see, give, give Michael the opportunity to hear me because the hardest part, he, he just couldn't hear me because there was so much more in the trigger. Then little by little, we were able to like, go through little bit little and what was amazing was that Michael wasn't running away and I and I wanted him to take accountability that this was not okay. Like you're allowed to get angry, you're allowed to be upset, you're allowed to be frustrated. You have every right with all this shit that showed up earlier. My God, like you experienced terrible experience in this past relationship that has really affected you and it's been brought into our into our relationship so I can finally see this but you can't take it out on me you have to meet this this limitations this triggers yourself so it was so wonderful and I, and I really cried it out and explained to him how never had yelled at me my brother had yelled at me you had yelled at me and that and I just how awful that feels like and I was like I am just not going to be yelled at anymore like I don't deserve it I don't and that was part of me like declaiming my truth you know this doesn't feel good to me we, we love you we have to speak it out and you can't just keep apologizing but not change of behavior so it was it was so powerful it was so powerful because it gave both of us the space but, but the other thing part that was left was this ceremony thing we did on 2 21, 21 with this for each other some of it still ties into this four years four and a half years we're together that has that created hurt between both of us and if you just want to pause real quick yeah. what's also interesting and honey reminded me very beginning in the relationship and this may this may re resonate with you is you know, when things come and happen, it's like a boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And it's really important to recognize that in the pattern of threes, it's really showing that there's something coming forward to really to, heal. to put, you know, it's like a red alert, you know, star, underline, 
bold, there's something coming forward. So when we were talking that night, it was just interesting as we express, we, you know, Honey really got a great chance to voice her opinion, to be held, to be heard. And most important to be seen in what was being brought forward because it was an opportunity where in the past that myself, her closest loved ones were just acting from a place where it wasn't in the most mature, it wasn't in the most conscious, if anything, it was coming from a toxic level, right. that we weren't able to truly um, be our fullness because this old energy kept coming up. Point being, it was how interesting was first her son, then her brother, then me. Yeah. And that was just a very interesting note just to look at it saying when things come up and it's a one, two, three, step back and look to see what the universe is being brought forward. To assist in that. So... From that place, then we said, okay, did, there's a lot of hurt still here. We have to this hurt, this hurt and it has to really be clear. So we, as we, and, and the biggest part, there was a part that Michael really shared with me and, and it had to do with his father's crossing over last, you know, three years ago and, and, uh, and there was a part that he shared with me that was an attempt to really shame me, like really shame from a place he was hurt, though I was with him every an single an, day. An, and an unhealed, unhealed pain. That and came un, unhealed pain came that he had hold on to three, year, the, three years, and he really strongly expressed, expressed that to me. And that rattled me. So... After we finished everything, I mean, I cried all Tuesday night until the morning where then Wednesday morning, you know, when we were live, I was like, I just, just, I couldn't stop crying. I was so hurt and upset and not hurt, just sad but because I, I had done everything I could with getting Michael ready for his father to cross in every way possible, but there was still this hurt in him that then again was deeply projected to us and I felt so bad because I I you know I I would have done anything for Michael so so when, this is now Wednesday morning Wednesday morning we did the meditation just I was filled with tears Michael was up for the I went for a walk afterwards I just let no tears and then the voice said to me it's time to clear clear this four years and I was like, I, I, I want to clear the four years of the hurt that's been stuck in us. And also the pattern, which not only are we programmed upon, but it's very easy in relationships to bring up the past. For example, there'll be many times where Honey would say, mm -hmm. you know, over the past four years, this is what's happened. Right. You know, this is the continual thing. And it's beautiful of that awareness, but at the same time, if you know, going into the past and bringing a pain up from the past is like going up into an old wound, peeling the, the skin off it and pouring some more oil or gasoline into it because we, because that is, it's constantly, what we're doing is we're taking the present moment and we're bringing that to the past of the unhealed moment and then we're bringing the fire to it, which okay. which actually makes it a greater amount of pain it hurt charges or more. charges more. So it's, it's very important to recognize that even that in our you know relationships that we may not be aware of, when we go to the past and saying, well, this is what's always happened these past four and a half years. This is what you've done for the past four and a half years. To catch that, that's very important. And to, and to catch it, and also especially when it's been repeated, it hasn't like it hasn't like been fully healed. It hasn't been healed or healed or, for example, or forgiven. Or no, well, healed. Like for example, the the one of the biggest challenge was Michael was lack of sleep or. Or if, or if his body hurt or or something, the way it affect him, affected him so much. And from that place, he would project. What's been amazing in this meditation process, he's been able to totally transform that because he himself has been able to catch it and see, wow, that actually was an old program, doesn't have a hold over me, but he's been finally ready to, um, to, to see that limitation and allow the greater to take place, which has been amazing. So, but it's had its impact. So, having said that, that voice said that to me. So, when when I, when I saw um, uh, Michael, he wasn't, um, you know. So he said, 
he wasn't feeling well so much either and so I said to him I said Michael can we go to Cunningham's fall can we do are you ready to do a release ceremony let's release this four years I am so ready I said something was shown to me and he was so it was so beautiful Michael was so willing so that's the part sometimes open. and open sometimes you bring it up some people are resistant so he was also ready we were both ready and the talk last night the night before was so good so so we packed our stuff we went and it couldn't have been more perfect the way the weather cooperated so we went to this place that had a little man-made beach and I said okay my god here's pad and a pen and I want to share this with all of you that can also help you I I really I told Michael I said Michael let's write down non-stop let's write down everything that has really hurt us in this past four and a half years that that is there and just just write it and write it and then we'll do a release I brought the fire we do a fire release with him so we said okay so as we sat down we start seeing the clouds coming and the next thing you hear thunder and they see we start seeing the water coming and it was so incredible because I I felt like I, I, I shared with Michael I said I'm pretending you're finally hearing me because I feel like you've never really heard me like I've been just longing for you to have heard me so when I started writing I wrote non-stop pages and pages and pages and it just it was just floodgate had opened like and I had so much that was sitting in me that I it just I just pretended inside of me that Michael is there and he's just fully ready to hear everything I have to say without without any interruption any resistance just full acceptance what it was amazing because I didn't actually need to read any of it to Michael I needed that release in me. So when I wrote, wrote the weather started like this. And, and as she was writing, I was doing the same thing for yeah. her. I was imagining and visualizing as I was writing down all the things in the past that were painful, that were that really truly wanted to be released, that wanted yeah. to be expressed, that wanted to be fully acknowledged and recognized so that as we were writing and as we were expressing, it was interesting because the rain kept falling down harder. We moved from the beach to a table, we went from a table to under a tree, and the rain kept coming and coming and coming. So it was pretty down for. It was pretty phenomenal to see as we were writing here, the water was washing away the great inscriptions that we were doing in our four years of literally and documenting, stating, and just placing all the things that we fully wanted to let go. Yeah, and it was a really hard, like there was no stopping in the way it was coming, like just, just full allowing. Mm -hmm. So at one point, after I wrote everything, what was so incredible for me in that moment, and which Michael got a chance to see the release in me, I took full, as I wrote this, and as at first, my mind was, Michael, when you did this, I felt, heard this, 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 this. I just let myself say it all. I said, when, I just said all of it as I you wrote it. That I, I expressed level. it without anything hold that Everything that I've been wanting, I just expressed it in this writing. And but what happened at the very end was, was, was powerful. I said to Michael, like in, in that writing, Michael, I know I co-created, I invited this experience into me by what matching vibration that was already in me. So, and, and I take full responsibility. And that, and that right there is so important. Just say that again slowly so people can okay. hear that. So after I wrote everything, as if I was telling Michael his actions hurt me then at the very end while the, it was pouring I said I said also in that writing Michael I recognize except, all except well, I recognize all of these things that have taken place has been part of my own doing I and I take full responsibility because I attracted what I didn't want into my life 
plus what I wanted into my life. It is my own vibration that matched this. So, and from here, from this now that I know, I am going to change this, my reality, because I now know how to change this, my presence. And, and, and I am grateful and I am fully, um, I fully accept it all with so much love and gratitude that has brought me to this point and I welcome it to leave as Mother Earth beholds me. And that's when I was just bawling and bawling and bawling. And that felt so empowering because I went put my hand on the earth and just soaking like red wax. And from there, and I knew I have to give my, mm -hmm. my paper to water. And, and what was very powerful about that is just as honey attracted each piece that was brought forth so did I in my own it wasn't just this is honey going through it I also recognized at the same time that everything that was being brought forward in the pain and the hurt and the conflict and the disharmony and the misalignment that was being brought to my field based on the vibration that I was emitting so one part is individually that we were feeling at the same time it was also being brought to our union yeah. because the union was also being tested. It was also being brought up to light because we knew everything that is being brought for us is also what the universe is giving to us because we chose that. Yeah. We brought that toward us in our own vibration. I feel it's very important to recognize not to blame, not to victimize, not to point, and not to say what the reason is through our rationalization or our... 3D of like, okay, this is what's happened, this is what's happened, but to step back and say, oh, these are the energies that are coming before us because one part's individually, one part is in our union, and then of course another part is we're clearing it through the collective. What's coming through us is also on a collective nature being transformed. So I feel it's a, a very powerful message to recognize that without personalizing it, without defending it, and without truly, truly judging what's happening and to really recognize the gift of what's been before us to transform so that we can speak of this in gratitude, in acceptance, in love, and really in the ability to align and forgive anything that's been in the past so that we can feel the fullness of our power and not be held back of these limiting um, portions that may have had control over us or disrupted our union. Yeah, and I feel that the most important part is sometimes we are um, really attempting everything possible for the person who's done whatever wrong to us for us to express what you did, did, did this and sometimes they may never hear you they may not ever be able to hear you and it's okay but you still have the freedom to liberate yourself and that's what I did as much as Michael can hear but especially what he was experiencing he, he couldn't fully hear me and I just needed I needed that gift to be given back to me, but it was really for me. So I can, you can't just release something when the charge is there so much. And when that took place, that really, I, I, I literally experienced the release and the liberation because that gift could not have been the higher gift. I never had to even read it to you. It was just... I was talking to you with your soul, and it was, wow. And this is something you can do with if loved ones is not here or they're in distance or they're in spirit side, it can still be done. And to bring that point up, we are in a divine union, and many of those that might be have gone, that have gone before that may have been in separation of their partner, or maybe their partner is not in that conscious frame to listen, or maybe not even just present to recognize that list that we made. The list that I chose to burn, honey chose to release it in running water, this can still be done, done. in a holy, sacred mm -hmm. ceremony that you're still able to do that with yourself so. and visualize you're expressing that to the higher self of the individual so that you're not... Yeah conflicting with, oh, yeah. he's not going to listen to right. it or she's not going to be able to do it. No matter if it's 
mother, daughter, father, uncle, cousin, a lot of times people say, well, I can't do this because they're not at that conscious level. Right. No, we can still do that and still have the ability because the intention to write it down for you to fully feel and express it. And to fully accept. Don't hold anything back. That's the key. And to allow that you are expressing it and sharing it to the being as he, she, they, it fully accepting it, yeah. fully hearing you, and fully, most important, allowing you to do that so that you can feel the permission to fully let it go. Yeah. And so from there, it was amazing because just as it did that, then the, the sky opened up, mm -hmm. the sun came out. We they cleared little, the whole park, the, the lifeguards were like, you can get back in the water and we celebrate. Because we celebrated, we, we went. We had lunch, we went in the water, we went to the land of we swam together and we both felt so relieved. And from there then liberated. we began we felt so, so liberated. liberated. And and then Michael and I then what was amazing because suddenly the space opened up. We spoke about the space open up. Then we said, from this this new now, how do we want to move forward from mm -hmm. here now? And it was so beautiful. We were both so eager to insert like the newer ways that feels really feels from this presence forward, like really in the, the presence. And from there then we went released the we did a final ceremony, me releasing it in the water and Michael releasing it in there. In the fire. In the I fire. Found it in a sacred location. Which right. Is beautiful. So then we came back, then we just had like such a magnificent then we went had dinner together. We felt with so much love. We felt like we were just radiant glowing with this space of love and the presence was so present with us so then just magical magic we could feel and experience the magic then in the morning so then it was magdalene feast day on the 22nd so i got up did the meditation and i came back and i saw michael in the room and he was like not looking very good i was like okay all right. Was so through, I was going through once again an infamous stomach pain that was trying to grab my attention. Yeah. So I came in. I saw Michael's energy field, let's say, imbalanced contracted. and also contracted, and almost like I call it this canine teeth, ready to attack something. She calls I it was canine teeth. Let's, let's call it energetic canine teeth. And I, and she sees it. It. I'm like, oh my gosh! So I closed the door. I was like, okay. I took a pause, I breath, and I said, Michael, I'm going to go for a walk. Do you want to come? He said, no. And then he's like, and I, all I did, I just put my hands on it. I said, I'm sorry you're going through this. And, and I came said, back, no, 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 no. You, said, you said, I'm going to leave the room, which was beautiful. Yeah. Because right when I was going through that feeling, she recognized immediately that I'm going to leave the room, come back. She came back, said, I'm sorry, went for a walk. No, I, I said, I said, I'm sorry you're feeling this way, I'm right. going to go for a walk. And then I chose to keep working on my belly and then went to the gym for like two hours to like exercise and really go deep into my physical body to help release the contractions within my belly. So when I went for a walk, I could tell my, my body was a little, just a tiny bit tense. I was like, okay, so here we had this magical day. I, I'm going to trust that my core can put this into gear today. To recognize, okay, he's in balance, he's, his body's this, whatever, for him not to project from there, that he will handle it. And I just said to myself, I'm going to stay in my presence and I'm going to trust who will go into his presence. And it was amazing. As soon as I said that, my whole body, like, relaxed and I went for a wonderful walk and I wanted to do the Magdalene ceremony and I came, I came back, I went bought roses and got things ready and the michael called he had gotten all roses we got like four dozens of roses for each other and then it was this wonderful space so then we went to um blackie regional park and i had this was the first year out of many many years i wasn't in service to as a ceremony for all the people everything else I really needed it with my magnet service to me and service to our union. And I can't express how truly magical this was because we went and we expressed 
in the fullest expression in such a clear space and crystalline clarity, like the depth of the appreciation and love we have and and how we've been able to see these limitations in ourselves and taking personal responsibility, mm -hmm. appreciating the awareness, appreciating the gratitude and choosing differently, being more conscious, choosing differently. And it was so mystical, it was so magical, it was such Magdalene charge, exactly as the Magdalene frequency. It was almost like the fire had to be cleared through the rain and the washing away of all that experience the day before to feel the fullness of the liberation of love that naturally flowed through us as we exchanged roses and allowed ourselves to look deep into the eyes, feel our love, appreciate one another, and really just allow the four elements in that moment to embrace yeah. while hearing the fish jump out of the lake, the hawk that screamed, butterfly, and, and the, the butterflies, mana. and all of just the majestical creatures that were holding that space and giving the permission to allow the fullness of what was coming through. And it really is giving that opportunity to honor that great presence that has allowed these transformations come through. And what I feel personally is just feeling more stable and standing in the fullness and strength. Because many times when we let these emotions come forward, there is a weakness of ourselves to be true and honest. And when we can stand in our strength, there's a truth and authenticity that we're so able to be transparent and be clear in how we choose to be mm -hmm. versus the days before where I wanted to hide, avoid, resist. We met the resistance the day before. We cleared that. Then we allowed the overflowing natural love that's already within us to shine and to see that through the several days that happened was like this magical... Yeah beautiful like a lotus coming out of, of mud li literally out of dirt yeah. this lotus yeah. flower and i find it so important to share that from our personal experience because that gives the opportunity for each of you to move through ways and know that there are techniques there are ways there is an ability for you to really go deep within and express the truth express what it is even the things that maybe you're like oh i can't tell him or i can't tell her write it down give yourself the chance to express it because even this morning we were talking about cholesterol in the body and how even like the liver can't fully transform the cholesterol because the anger is holding within and imagine all the things we're holding in within ourselves we're not able to express it just think what that does to our physical body let alone the mental and emotional spiritual well-being like it is here to come up and released and i felt like what was so magical is honey had you know being that she's been working with this great presence for the past six months there has been a great clarity yeah. well seven, seven months, months. <laughs> the clarity of it has been given to her even during my times of diving deep into pains i wasn't realizing she was guided and i just felt that this has helped me be more yeah. open and not resist because yeah. I keep seeing he's that. He's breaking yeah. down the resistance yeah. so much in him. It's, it's, it's amazing to watch it's this. It's almost like when the resistance comes, that's the golden nugget. The resistance is coming up and immediately we want to fall into that pattern of like, it's resistance, I'm going to avoid it. But, or, or it's the resistance, I'm going to continue to resist because yeah. I don't want to feel that. And that's the breaking point. That's that you can have the choice. You have the choice right there to not support the resistance anymore. It, it's truly. And once you do it, you you get better and better at letting it go. I mean, truly, the phrase of "what we resist will persist." Persist. It's like the universe saying, "Keep resisting. Keep stopping. It's going to keep You're showing up. It's going to keep showing up." So yeah. I thank you, honey. Thank yeah. you so much. But wait, wait, I want to share. I want to share yeah. also Friday. What was so beautiful? So what what was amazing in our daily experience mm -hmm. the flow that we experience mm -hmm. the, the, the 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 closeness of our hearts like okay hey so we were going to like for example wash the rocks okay maybe not today we'll do it tomorrow yeah. there was no the resistance ease. it was the ease the grace the peace the grace and the communication mm -hmm. very little but we were both at the yeah. same flow yeah. same frequency yeah. same. it was like we were on the same 
you were on your surfboard, I was on my surfboard, we were both yeah. like riding the same. We were synchronized. We were so synchronized. So then maybe when we wanted to go for a walk, hey, you want to go for a walk? This? Yeah, let's go this. And then, and we enjoyed it yeah. so much. And also today, we're like, this, this new space, yeah. it's the space that I know I cleared in you, yeah. it's the space you cleared in you, and our union is experiencing this new space. And what is so important is that in a union often, like let's say when a man yell at a woman, whatever, there's such a shame and embarrassment around that, so we don't really talk about these things. And so it's more hidden because especially in couples like especially spiritual teachers and what have you there's a lot of face putting up but we've always been very open because I feel it's very important to share the wisdom because all of this is part of it's coming from somewhere else and from within that needs to come into this alignment and the gift of the presence is that it is literally gifting us to be so present to bring everything to this now. So from this now, we continuously choose. Yeah. And true transformation that I cannot be more grateful for, honey. Grateful for all those that are holding the space, that are taking the time to dive in and meet that. You know, it's like when we can follow the, the shit, it's like the shift is coming before us so that we can yeah. really see that. And I just can't express how much liberation mm -hmm how much freedom it's allowed in my heart because I know the deeper that I go in, the deeper that we go in, the deeper that all of us go in, it just allows our natural stream of love mm -hmm. to love be, to breathe in that love, mm -hmm. to feel that love, and to just let those blockages go because they too want to be released. Yeah. So it's, it's been beautiful. Yeah, and it's and another one to love. say it yeah. than another one than, than the beingness of yeah. it, right? Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. It's yeah. been amazing, and we really wanted to share the wisdom with you. May this really serve you. Michael is about to get on a call. May this really support you. That's why we came on. Again, it's going to come up. It's not never-ending. It will show up. You will go for a few days. It's good, and then maybe something will show up because it's more opportunity to, to bring it into alignment. And don't be afraid of it. This idea, well, I thought I healed it. Yeah. It's done. It doesn't work that like way. Like a muscle, it's going to keep coming back yeah. until we can surrender, embrace, and feel the gratitude to it. Because so many times our ego is like, I've already healed this. Yeah, you've already healed this. Well, the universe is going to bring this around another time to see how much gratitude we can see. And really, the personal level is to see how far we move from that point of where it truly affected us to be on the other side of saying how grateful I can be from it because this experience is only here to help others That's serve right. and learn through it. So thank you all for being here. So love you all so much. Thank you for being present. Thank you for your presence. And thank you for our presence for this now. Thank much you. Love. Many blessings.